Okay students, slide number 4. While I am recording these slides, there is a dove means Fakhta sitting outside my office and she is making a lot of noises. So please ignore those noises and listen to whatever I am teaching in this slide. So slide number 4. The heading for slide number 4 is technical writing mechanics and approach. So what is an approach towards technical writing and what are the mechanics that you will have to actually use in order to complete that approach. Now writing mechanics are listed over here and you will have to take care of these. Keep them in your mind whenever you are actually going about writing a technical report. So in writing mechanics the first thing that you will have to keep in mind is check your spellings. The second one is check your grammar. The third one is minimize the use of acronyms means abbreviations. The less abbreviations that you use the more understandable your technical report is going to be. Now it is written over here that if acronyms are necessary always define them at the first use. It means that if you are going to use a certain abbreviation throughout your technical report always define them in complete worldly English at the first instance that you have used them or used it in your technical report okay so it is pretty straightforward and easy the fifth one that you will have to keep in mind is a mechanic which is very important number all equations tables and figures so if all equations have got their own individual numbers all tables have got their individual numbers and figures also have their individual numbers it becomes pretty easy for the reader to understand your technical report and apart from numbers all tables and figures must have captions caption means a single sentence a short concise sentence which actually gives a description of the figure or a table ke table mein kya show kiya gaya hai ya figure jo hai wo kya depict kar rahi hai to har ek table ke upar aur har ek figure ke niche aapne uska caption dena hai and that caption is actually making the reader to understand what a certain table has and what a certain figure depicts. All figures must have labeled axes. Means if you are actually showing a graph in a figure, so x axis must have its own label that either it is showing time or any other variable x, y, z and let's suppose the y-axis has got some other entity that you have actually plotted in that graph. So all figures must have labeled axes. And normally these things happens when you are actually putting graphs or certain you know statistical data in a figure. The last mechanic that you will have to keep in mind is all quantities must have units. You cannot write 18, 20 or 205 or something in your technical report without actually labeling them with units. So if you are saying let's suppose 10, so either 10 can be volts, amperes or watts. So all quantities must have units and quantities are actually in numbers inside a technical report 
and those numbers must have a unit in order to identify them it makes the readers job pretty easy so if you are writing a journal paper the review is very good from the reader and if you are writing a dissertation or a thesis or a report the reader actually gives a positive feedback because of the writing mechanics that you have followed okay now the second thing on slide number four is writing the report what is actually an approach towards writing a technical report so what approach you will have to use and keep in mind before writing a technical report and your technical report must show or highlight that approach so that approach is also listed over here the first thing and the most important thing is to decide on a title of your technical report the second is create a brief outline with only main section headings means aap pehle jo hai sirf aur sirf ek brief outline bana le ke aap jo hai technical report mein kaun kaun si headings jo hai wo rakhna chahte hain if you look at slide number 2 so you will find out all the headings that you will have to keep in your technical report so aap pehle जो है उसका एक ढांचा बना लें ब्रीफ आउटलाइन के कौन कौन सी मेन सेक्शन हेडिंग्स होंगी ओके सो द फर्स्ट थिंग इज टू डिसाइड ऑन अ टाइटल द सेकंड इज क्रिएट अ ब्रीफ आउटलाइन विद ओनली मेन सेक्शन हेडिंग्स अभी एट दिस मोमेंट यू डोंट हैव टू राइट एनीथिंग इन दो सेक्शन जस्ट पुट द हेडिंग्स ओवर देयर that i will actually keep these headings in my technical report the third one is create a more detailed outline with subheadings so main headings are there but after main headings in each section you will have subheadings and those subheadings will have the majority of detail which you want to include in your technical report now the fourth one is create an executive summary which is your abstract which has been already discussed in the previous slides the 1 2 3 4 yes the fifth one is create the main body of the text so you are now actually putting material into the main headings and also into the sub headings okay and at the end insert tables figures references and acknowledgments so these things are for later and this is the approach that you will have to take in order to write a technical report so it is pretty straightforward all you have to keep in mind is to take care of the writing mechanics and adhere to your approach towards writing a technical report and if you follow the listing which is given in slide number 2 so your technical report is going to look very good and it is going to be in a very substantial manner okay tartib se hogi उर्दू में उसको कहते हैं ठीक है तो लेट्स गो टू वर्ड्स स्लाइड नंबर